So in this video we're going to talk about the import phase, which is the last phase of the VCSA migration. So like the previous phases, the export and the pre-check phases and the first boot phase, each component has its own import log. And these will be found in var log VMware upgrade. So each component has its own import log depending on whether it's vSAN health, license, v VPXD, auto deploy, etc. So we could very easily see, depending on which service failed to import, this would be the log that we would need to look at. If we look at the upgrade import.log, we see that an upgrade orchestrator script get, gets kicked off to orchestrate the entire upgrade, and it takes in an upgrade import config.json. So it takes in this JSON file as a configuration, and it'll orchestrate the entire import sequentially. So it'll make sure that the data gets imported in the right order. The import of all the components will occur sequentially. Again, if any one of these fails, the entire migration process would need to be restarted from the beginning. So you can see this in the import upgrade runner.log. So similar to the pre-check phase, the export phase, the first boot phase, and now the import phase, it's actually quite easy to troubleshoot the, the issues because all the various components have their own individual logs. So all you need to identify is which phase did the migration fail on. Once you know that, you'll be able to identify which individual component the failure occurred and then troubleshoot that specific piece of the puzzle. So that concludes our deep dive into the various migration phases. In the next video, we're going to talk a little bit about what our options are in terms of rolling back should there be a failure at any particular stage. I hope you enjoyed this video.